Hey fellow DM crafters, DM Scotty here with another cool craft today. Today we're going to do some sickly dead trees, right? And I needed some of these for my Strahd game. And I wanted, a, I wanted an easy way to do it. And I discovered this way that was super easy to make these. Uh, very little you have to do to get a really great result. So let's hit the table and I'll show you how I made these easy, just dead, sickly looking trees. And uh, let's hit it. See you at the table. All right, crafters, this is my base material, this bare branch stem by Ashland. And you can get these at all the big craft stores. They're about eight or nine bucks, but the coupon you can get about half off of that, so very nice. And look at all these branches, make great, uh, you know, dead trees, right? And uh, just pre made, basically. And I like the fact that they're a little flexible, so they're, you know, not, um, not like wire where they, you know, you hit them and they knock over or they poke you, right? They're a little bit flexible. So now I need to get these to stand up, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, my washers. I always have extra washers in my, my workspace, and I always keep various sizes. And they take hot glue very well, actually, and they're great for weights. So I'm going to just glue that, fill it in like ground, right? And I put a little dab of glue in the center, just stuck right to my cutting board, and I'll just pull right off my little trick for adding hot glue. I love this glue gun. You can get it at the description below in the uh, underneath the video at the link. And what I'm going to do is pull hot glue up onto the tree, and uh, that will blend it into the base as well as make a, the bond very strong, right? So just add some more and pull it up. You want a nice strong bond. It also makes it look a little bit like a tree on the bottom where it's wider at the bottom. Well, okay, that's not heavy enough to hold the tree up, unfortunately. So another washer to the rescue just glue another heavier one on the bottom and problem solved and I love this uh, glue gun with the the little small nozzle here perfect alright just fill in the edges there make it look like ground and I'm good to go I'm also gonna add some hot glue on the branches they're a little smooth I wanna kinda roughen them up a little bit you know make it look uh, more like a you know a, a gnarly tree so I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue, drag it out on the branches, and that'll just add some texture, some interesting texture. All right, nice. Now I'm going to add some stuff to the base. Uh, I got this aggregate. Uh, it's fish uh, tank pebbles, right? And I'm just going to add some of those to the base. Just sprinkle them on with my white glue, my glue all, and the excess put back. And when I'm done with that, I'll just dump my construction sand on there which is different size aggregate. Last but not least I want to put some uh, pencil shavings on there as dead foliage or as uh, dead you know plants right so I'll just put those on the base and then uh, after it dries spray it flat black with my flat black spray paint and now I'll paint it with my dark brown so just fill it in this is just acrylic craft paint and then I'm going to use a lighter brown for the base and then paint the uh, dead the dead pencil shavings on there which are you know supposed to be like dead plants kind of a tannish color and then the tree I'm painting this kind of sickly Mississippi mud color that I have I really like this color it's kind of a nasty brown there we go now here's uh, some cotton from a medicine but you could use cotton balls or anything like this so I'm gonna make them you know take little pieces off and then 50% water 50% white glue soak them in that Okay, kind of get them all, you know, soaking up the glue there. All right, now what I'm going to do is use this uh, green here and just kind of paint them. It's uh, just a kind of a olive green here. And just even while they're wet with the glue, just paint them. Look kind of like slugs now. <laughs> all right, now here's my tree, and I'm going to add some moss. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have some moss as they're just kind of you know not that interesting the dead trees aren't that interesting but I thought the moss might make it a little more interesting so I'm just gonna kind of drag that down pull it down 
And wow, that really adds a lot to the tree actually, but still looks like a dead tree. Here's another version. So another bigger one. So really cool, really cool. I really like that. Now I'm going to add some highlight after it dries and just a little bit of a lighter green after it dried darker. And there we go. Let's hit the table. Yeah. So you guys, I thought I'd show you this uh, Gates of Barovia board I set up. And uh, this is just my poster board with my stamp technique on there. And you can see the road leads up to the Gates of Barovia, right? And uh, the board itself is just foam core with some stamping on it. And uh, makes a great uh, base there. And then I got these little foliage stands I did. And here's the trees themselves. I think they really look great and nice and anemic. I think that moss really gives a creepy look, but a nice little detail uh, from just the brown look. You know, it gives it something a little extra there. Uh, really nice. As we go down the road, we see uh, Roderick and Hilga here heading for the gates of Barovia. I got some uh, 3D printed stuff here I got. Uh, the statues and the gates. In the module, the heads fell off, but uh, this, in these statues, I said the kind of the faces fell off or were chipped off of these. I thought it was nice and uh, creepy. And here I've got a couple other 3D things printed. And uh, those are my dungeon blocks. You guys have seen do the, me do those. So just really easy. And uh, yeah, this is another 3D printed piece I did. So pretty cool. And here's a Bones Gargoyle or a Harpy as a decoration on the wall. And some detail on the statues there. The gate is just a 3D printed piece I got off a of Thingverse. So pretty cool. Just added some weathering to it weathering to the gate put it between my dungeon blocks and it's a perfect gate so we had a really nice fight here a bunch of wolves came out of the forest from the edge of the board and they had to fight some of the people who got on the other side and it was a pretty interesting uh, encounter to say the least so and then I had a crow show up uh, you know and kind of squawk one word uh, warnings to them which was kind of fun and got them thinking about what that could have to do with the module. So there you go. I hope you like this and the, the trees really fit into my Strahd game and I hope you like the look at my uh, Strahd board here. You guys take care and happy gaming and have fun making those trees. Take care. Alright Scotty, I know how you like to put me in these little vignettes to show off your terrain and oh I'm so scared. It's a scary forest. Oh boy. <laughs> what was that? Oh, oh. Ah, ah, ah. I'm, not, I'm not really scared. That didn't scare me.